Hey guys, I'm back uh, for yet another video uh, since the last one was kind of a mild, low ABV beer. I've decided to go ahead and knock out two episodes. Uh, this next beer will of course be the third in my sort of mainstream Mexican lager series. I'll be doing four. Um, this will be the last one for today, however. Um, and this one, guys, is also from the same brewery that uh, makes Dos Equis and Sol. I actually got this in a sample pack, which is why I'm doing them all together. Uh, but this beer is Tecate. Um, again, guys, here is the bottle cap with the black eagle on it, which seems to be their... Uh, logo or emblem or what have you. So again, we got a brown bottle here, guys, and this one is 4.5 percent, uh, where the sole was 4.2. So this does have a touch more alcohol in it. Uh, but this is another kind of session lager that uh, that they make down there. So we're gonna crack this open, guys, and see what's what. Sorry about that, guys. That one was a little being a little stubborn to get off of here. So anyway, once again, this is Tecate. We'll give this a pour. I kind of did that off cam, guys, but uh, um. To look at this, I would say this almost looks slightly lighter than the sole, uh, about a one finger white head, a little bit more head. Um, might be a little more active carbonation as well, but we'll give this a sniff. Yeah, and this is much different, guys. A big time burst of lemon, almost a mint uh, characteristic coming through on the smell on this one, guys. Um, really fresh, really crisp smelling. I mean, this is just, it's kind of night and day from the other two, really. Um, Almost like a sense of some sea breeze, you know, I don't know, as weird as that sounds, but I get that sense in my brain. So anyway, guys, cheers. I'm going to dive in. And the classic freeze. Um, this one, guys, is just much more going on. Big time maltiness. There's a big lemon feel on this. Uh, it just for me, it's got bolder flavors and more flavor uh, than the other two I've done in this series. Um, you know, very... Um, Again, that European biscuits as opposed to an American biscuit, which are entirely different. Very European biscuity maltiness. The maltiness is very upfront. Uh, that lemon flavor is, excuse me, is definitely there. And this is just really pleasant. At a 4.5, you could still session this all day long. On a hot summer day, this would be fantastic. And where it wasn't as apparent, honestly, in the other two beers, the, the water quality comes through really nicely in this. I mean, it really has that, you know, you can kind of taste the water. You get the thirst quenching element. Um, I mean, obviously, it goes without saying, guys, this is out of the three in this series I've done so far. This is my favorite one, guys. And... Uh, 
out of the three I've shown so far, this would be the one I would recommend the highest. Um, I'm going to go ahead. It's still not going to change your world, but I'm going to go ahead, guys, and give uh, Tecate Cerveza uh, a solid 7 out of 10. I actually think it's, it's pretty solid, guys. So if you see this out there, uh, check it out. Uh, so once again, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk with you later.